वेलकम टू वेब स्टार प्लस एड ब्यूटिफुल प्रोज एंड कॉन्स इन वर्ल्ड प्लस वेबसाइट एड इट इन क्लासिक वर्ल्ड प्लस एडिटर और गुटनबर्ग एडिटर और इन फेज बिल्डर सच एज एलिमेंटर यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज शॉर्ट खोड दिस थिंग दैट आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर इज मेकिंग मे मनी आई विल टेल यू हाउ आफ्टर शोइंग यू हाउ इट वर्क प्रोज एंड कॉन्स टेक्निक इज अ वे टू शो कंपेरिजन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट और टू थिंग्स साइड बाय साइड In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, I will show you multiple ways to implement it. To do it, from WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, click Add New, search for Pros Cons, and we have got these plugins. Mighty pros and cons, I2 pros and cons, Mighty classic pros and cons. I2 pros and cons allows you to add added pros and cons visually in Gutenberg and classic editor. Mighty pros and cons is a Gutenberg block which allows you to create a responsive pros and cons. And this plugin provides you short code to show pros and cons. If you want to create this thing on your own, you will need few hours to make it and then few more hours to enhance its design. If you need to add comparison to your WordPress website, these plugins can help. But there is a question. In fact, three questions. Are you using Page Builder? Are you using WordPress Classic Editor? Are you using Gutenberg Editor? We will handle all of these scenarios. I am going to install two plugins. I2 Pros and Cons and Mighty Classic Pros and Cons. Activate from its menu, go to its settings. You can change colors and design in any way that you prefer. There are multiple themes available. You can use borders, you can choose to implement space between columns, you can choose to use rounded corners. And these are settings for the heading. For a section, choose background color for each section, box shadow settings, icon settings, and button settings. I will go to plugins and activate the second pros and cons plugin as well. Now go to pages, create new page. To add pros and cons, use Visual Editor. There, use icons provided by these plugins. Insert pros and cons by using these icons. This is from i2 pros and cons. Let's select this. And here you see this interface. Pros, cons. You can choose pros icon. You can choose custom icon for cons. You can choose icons for pros and cons titles as well. We can choose to show button as well. So this is my main title, WordPress pros and cons. And these are pros, each one in a single line. And these are cons. And after that, click insert short code button. And this is the short code that can be used anywhere. Choose the page title. Publish. Let's see the page. This is how it will look like. You can choose to hide the title for that. Type false. And the title is removed. Now it is looking better. And it is responsive as well. Now for the second plugin, let's use it. Choose the style. Let's disable title, pros and cons. You can use button as well if you want to link to the product or anything, but I will disable the button for now. 
And now from here, we can add pros and cons. Let's add pros. Let's add another. Similarly, add cons. All right, now these are added. After that, click insert short code. Short code inserted, update the page, reload the page, and you see this beautiful design, pros and cons. You can use this one, or you can use this one. Both are good, right? And for this one, we are using this design. There are other designs as well that you can use. And the second one is also responsive. Making a table responsive can alone demand a lot of time to make. So this is ready to use, time saving and easy. It's using short code. Now you can use the short code structure to add comparison tables in your WordPress site anywhere, wherever short codes are allowed. If you are using Elementor page builder, you can implement these there as well. Just create these in editor and paste the short code in Elementor. For example, if I want to use this pros and cons table using Elementor, I will create another page. Publish it, edit it with Elementor. Now this is Elementor's interface. Click this plus button to add raw. Raw is added. Now search here, text editor or text editor is here. Drag and drop text editor here. Delete its default text. In visual, paste that text. Now here it doesn't seem to work, but update the page and let's preview it. And here is the pros and cons. Same thing that was in Visual Editor in WordPress, right? And now it is adjusted here as well. So exit. Okay, this was using Classic Editor and Elementor. What if you are using Gutenberg Editor? We have solution for that as well. This is a simple site using Gutenberg Editor. Let's go to Plugins and install Plugins. Pros, Cons. Search for Pros, Cons. Now I will not install this one. For Gutenberg, we have this plugin from Sam Arthur, Mighty Themes. This was for Classic Editor. And this is for Gutenberg. It's a Gutenberg block. So install it. And I will also install this one because it also says that it is for Gutenberg as well. Activate. Activate second one as well. Now go to pages, add a new page. Now this is Gutenberg editor. Type page title. And here, click this plus button, type pros. Now we have got these two, i2 pros and cons and mighty pros and cons. Let's use it pros and cons. And you see we've got pros and cons in a visual manner. Enter pros and cons. Click this button. Now this is better. Just paste the text here containing all the pros and paste cons text with all the cons. Click outside and there we have it. Let's change this to WordPress pros and cons. And below Click this plus button to add a block. Type pro pros. And this time let's choose mighty pros and cons. Click at this place. 
paste the text one pro in one line and here one con in one line paste the text and there we have it publish the page publish let's view the page and here is our page and this is a responsive as well Now you see here, these are editable. Click at this button to edit these pros and cons. This is better than classic editor or visual editor. Just click at the text and edit the text. And here it allows you a button and a proper interface to edit the pros and cons. So this is how you can add beautiful comparison tables in WordPress website without coding. Now, how am I making money with these? These plugins allow you to add pros and cons comparison tables in WordPress website. You can create a WordPress website, select your area of expertise, choose your topic, see which products or things can you compare in your industry. For example, in web development, you can compare WordPress with static website, compare Node.js with PHP, compare jQuery with React.js, compare Angular with React, and more. So you can create awesome website that offers comparison on different things. Make such a website, put it online. When it gets visitors, place advertisements on the site and make money online. This kind of website attracts a lot of views and attention. I usually don't suggest you to make a website, but with this, I am suggesting you to create a website. Use these plugins, publish pros and cons for something, and you will get a lot of traffic, a lot of visitors, and you will make money. So this kind of website attracts a lot of views and attention. If you don't know how to make a website using WordPress, I have tutorials on that. You can make a WordPress website in 5 minutes. I have tutorial on how to migrate WordPress from localhost to live server as well. You can create WordPress website locally and then migrate it to live. I have also published tutorials that show you how can you get free hosting and free domain name. Absolutely free. So you don't have to pay anything and you can create your free WordPress website by watching those tutorials. And I have also shared a lot on how to make best WordPress website. I will link these tutorials in video description. So create such website and make money online. You'll have fun while doing it. And this is how you can make money online and provide value in your industry. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.